Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to today's video and welcome back to the channel. So today we have some news that's been released within the last week in regards to DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. In my last video, I said I would keep you guys updated on anything that I found out about this release. And so far, what we have found out is what the premium pricing is going to be, as well as which iPads this software is going to be compatible with. Now, in terms of pricing, what we've seen is that the premium version is going to be right at $95. Now, it's hard to say right now how that price is going to compare with what features you're actually getting for $95. We don't really know what's going to be locked away in the premium version yet until the release of this software. We know that on the desktop version that about 75% of the program is available to use maybe even 80% on the free version, and then the rest of it is locked away under the studio banner, which is more of your advanced features. Now, I'll be honest, $95 is a little bit more than what I was expecting. I think I said in my previous video, I expected something maybe around $60. I am at least glad to find out that it's not a monthly fee. Now, with everything that I've read that this app is going to have available at release, I don't know that it's going to be worth the $95 immediately out the gate. We can probably assume that B-Raw and maybe even 4K to 8K editing is going to be locked behind that premium paywall. But until they start adding more features to the app and let the app mature, it may take a while before people start finding value in that $95 when they can still use a more full featured app like LumaFusion for only about $30. Now, in terms of compatibility, we have found out that this will be usable on every iPad that can run iPad OS 16 or above. Now, from what Blackmagic has said themselves, the app is going to be optimized for the M1 and the M2 with the M2 performing four times better than the M1 chip. So that might give you a better idea on how older iPads could perform. Now, the other piece of information we know is that the cuts screen has been optimized for the 12.9 inch screen. So with that being said, smaller screens may have a much harder time editing with the software. Now, thankfully, since we are going to have a free version, everyone is going to get a chance to at least test the app before spending money on it. That way you can get an idea of how it's going to perform on your specific iPad before wasting $95. Now, unfortunately, we still do not have an exact release date. All we know is it's going to be released in quarter four of 2022, which at this point, we only have the rest of November and December left. So we know it's going to come out within the next month and a half at a minimum. Now that's all I got for you guys as far as new information on DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. If you found the video helpful, please consider hitting that like button as well as subscribing to the channel. That way you can get updates anytime I put out a camera and tech related news or review video. And with that being said, until next time.